So my name is Andy Davis. Uh, I'm a lymphoma consultant from the uh, University of Southampton. In this video, I'm going to talk about what cancer is, what the lymphatic system and what the immune system does, what happens in lymphoma, and what types of lymphoma there are. So what is cancer? Well, cancer is when normal healthy cells start to grow out of control and there is a drive to continue to grow, and the normal breaks that stop cells from growing for some reason seem to be lost. There are many different types of cancer, and it obviously depends upon which type of normal cell starts to grow out of control. Lymphoma is cancer of cells of the lymphatic system. So what does the lymphatic system do? Well, the lymphatic system is part of the body's normal healthy immune system. And it's made up of a collection of infection-fighting cells called lymphocytes, which are able to track around the body and help fight infection. When you get the flu, for example, you may notice that the lymph nodes in your neck become tender and they increase in size. And that's part of the body's normal healthy response to eradicate infection. So the cells, these lymphocytes within the lymph nodes, are increasing in size and number to help eradicate the infection. When the infection's cleared, the lymph glands shrink down back to their normal size as the numbers of cells within them reduces again. Lymphoma is a cancer of specialist immune cells called lymphocytes, and these cells grow out of control. And this typically occurs within the lymph nodes, but may occur in, in any part of the body. And we may see these lymph nodes in the neck, in the armpits, in the groin, but actually there are lymph nodes throughout the body. So they may be in the chest and in the abdomen as well. So in lymphoma, these out of control lymphocytes collect in the lymph nodes and the swellings do not go down. There are different types of lymphocytes, each with their own specialist infection fighting function. Because these cells have different jobs, this accounts for the many different ways that lymphoma may present. These cells are throughout the whole body so that we can see that lymphoma can develop at any site within the body. We can broadly divide lymphomas into two groups, Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So Hodgkin's lymphoma is named after Thomas Hodgkins, who uh, was a physician at Guy's Hospital about 200 years ago. He described this disease in the times before microscopes. It was only when the microscope became available that actually when we looked at the lymph nodes, we could see that they were different between different types of lymphomas. And so we have Hodgkin's lymphoma and all the rest were grouped together as the non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. There are a number of different subtypes of Hodgkin's lymphoma. The majority of those we call classical Hodgkin's lymphoma and they're all treated in the same way. There is a rarer subtype of Hodgkin's lymphoma called nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma, which probably affects about 5% of patients with Hodgkin's disease, and the treatment for that may be different. Of the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, we can divide these into two broad categories. There are slow-growing or so-called indolent or low-grade lymphomas, and there are more rapidly growing lymphomas, the aggressive or high-grade non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The most common of the aggressive or high-grade lymphomas is diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And this typically presents with rapidly expanding lymph nodes at any site in the body, but classically within the neck, the armpit, or actually within any part of the body. Patients may also present with B-cell lymphomas, and these are drenching night sweats, unexplained weight loss, and the fever in the absence of infection. The most common of the low-grade lymphomas is follicular lymphoma. Patients typically present with enlarged lymph nodes, and they may have noticed this over a prolonged period of time, often over very many months, and sometimes those lymph nodes may have waxed and waned over time. Often we see that the lymph nodes are enlarged in different places throughout the body, and it's much less common than in the high-grade lymphomas for patients to experience B symptoms. There are many different types of lymphoma, 
and they may present in different ways and they may behave very differently. We make our treatment choices depending upon the types of lymphoma that we see and the course of the lymphoma may be very different depending on the particular type. So in summary, lymphoma happens when cells called lymphocytes are out of control. Lymphocytes are part of the lymphatic system and help fight infection. There are lots of types of lymphoma. They're grouped as Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Lymphoma can develop in lots of different areas of the body and different types of lymphoma behave differently and need different types of treatment.